Right, I don't know if any of that came out because I don't know if I pressed the right button. I think it was on standby. I was just <sighs> saying about the moat was dug out, it's known as puddling, and it was lined with clay. All this. And just around the corner, there's um, some men doing geophers. I just had a word with them, and they're studying the anarchy period of Stephen and Matilda. So they're doing a bit of work there. And uh, over where I'm staying, right over there, there could have been skirmishes, you see. And we've got ancestors here, Isaacsons that were here, um, Masons. Turner's probably all sorts of names. Burwell Castle House Platforms. I have got all this by the way, which I did before. Um, but it's photo and audio. This is video. The house platforms once consisted of the homes and enclosed small holdings of villagers who lived and worked on the manor estate held by the abbots of Ramsey Abbey. When this site was chosen by King Stephen's Castle in order to defend the area and oppose Geoffrey de Mandeville, the local villagers were forced to demolish their own homes before starting work on the castle. There's also work being carried out. Um, they have found uh, what they believe is um, evidence of the Romans here as well before the anarchy period. So that's the boat down there, look. Oh yeah, good boy. They're all attracted to me, dogs. Hello, hello Louis. Hiya, good boy. He come, he's coming to say hello, I think. Oh. <laughs> I was saying that it's a good time to do it now because we've had so much rain and they're supposed to be doing more. Now, you might just think I'm just walking around a field, but... We have got ancestors who were here. We probably had peasant ancestors as well. There were, you know, the, everyone was tied up with everyone. The barons were in re rebel rebellion when all this was going on. They were siding with Stephen, then they were siding with Matilda. Now, I did a video a minute ago, and I don't think I was doing it. This keeps happening, and I never, I always fail to check. When it turns itself off, it's because it's just on standby. See, there's a big bit of the mound there, look. There's the moat. I'm not quite sure which is the main castle bit, whether it would be up there. There is a type of path going down, look. Oh, here we got Burwell Castle Roma Villa, Villa site. That's a villa site then. During excavations in 1935, the archaeologists discovered there had once been a villa on the site. There has been more work on this, by the way, since. This is all part of family tree, everyone. Even though it might not seem it. I am walking in the footsteps of the ancient ancestors as well as medieval ones. I've done this before. Yeah, you sort of come out into a field. I can't remember, I think even your school. I am repeating stuff, but you learn something new each time you come out, actually. <sighs> yes, 
Yeah, it's not, um, today's supposed to be, tomorrow's not supposed to be too bad. That's why I'm going to do Claire tomorrow. I thought I would do, I've got all the other villages to do, don't forget. In the evenings, I'm going to have to get out and do places like Swaff and Bullback. I'm just going to have to stay out the site and suitable for coming and going. I mean, he talks about the grass. My my van don't like the pebbles. It really struggles against them. The gravel he's got down, it's almost like quick sand, it's about as quick gravel. I'm just going to have to stay out all day. I was hoping to have been in the field. I could have put me on in up, pop, come and gone. But um, it's not working out like that, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm hoping I go back into the <laughs> into the um, castle area in a minute. But it's always handy to have a look round. Here's the cricket field. It's um, a well catered for village, and it's much bigger. I think he said they built about nearly 300 houses here last year. Yeah, so I don't know where this is taking me. Obviously, I don't really want to... I didn't really intend to come out of the castle as such. So I'm going, I'm going to go back, right over and out.